back to my channel or if you're new here hi today's video is going to be super exciting because i'm going to be telling you guys how i turn from frosty the snowman to a gorgeous golden bronze babe by using the one and only coco and eve so i've been using coco and eve now for probably about five months i'm only a beginner so i'm not a professional but you know i have some tips and tricks up my sleeve so if you're a beginner or you've been wanting to learn how to tan or you don't know where to start I would definitely recommend starting with Coco and Eve. It's so simple, it's so easy. Like if I can do it guys, you can do it, trust me. <laughs> in the summertime, which is now here in Australia, I just don't tan. I go out into the sun and I burn and then I go back to being pale again. Is anyone else like that? Cause it's just not fair. So I am honestly very thankful for Coco and Eve. Coco and Eve actually reached out to me to work on this video with me today. I love everything they stand for. I love all the ingredients that they are using, all that kind of stuff. And I'll be talking about that a lot later on in the video, as well as sharing my little discount code with you guys. So you'll have to stick around for that. Now, obviously I am already tanned. I obviously just wanted to talk to you guys while I'm looking a little bit more human. <laughs> you'll see once I start the process um what I mean by that okay great also don't forget to follow me over on Instagram so you don't miss out on me when I'm not posting on YouTube so without further ado let me take you through my tanning process let's go so one of the first and best steps to do before you start tanning is obviously to exfoliate exfoliation helps remove any dead skin cells exfoliating will also help your tan apply much smoother so I tan in the mornings I don't like to sleep with a tan on that's just my preference. The night before I tan, I will exfoliate. So I'll get in the shower and I will use my favorite exfoliating body scrub. While you're in the shower, you may as well shave while you're in there because if you actually shave after your tanning process, it can actually botch the whole process. Shaving before you tan will also just help the tan stick better to your skin. I say stick, it doesn't really stick, it kind of like seeps into the skin. You know what I mean. And make sure that you shave 24 hours before you actually start tanning to ensure that the hair follicles have closed up. That way you avoid getting the speckled look as some people like to call it. Unless that's the look you're going for, nine out of 10 times that is not the look we're going for. So shave at least 24 hours before you start tanning. Okay, cool. Now step three, it's tanning time, baby. Now this is the Sunny Honey Barley Bronzing Foam and I get the medium shade because I am actually quite fair in complexion and I find that the medium just hits that glow right on me. So I'm just gonna put my hair up just so it's out of the way. All right, now that my hair is up, I am just gonna go ahead and tan like normal. So I take my Coco and Eve mitt. So I'll pop that on my right hand first. I just always do my left side first. I don't know why. And then I'm going to put one to two pumps into the mitt. It kind of depends on the area that I'm doing. So I think I'm going to start with my arms just so you guys can see the difference. So I use one to two pumps just like that. And I just squeeze my hand together so it spreads over the mitt. And then I just go for it just like so. It smells so good. I can't even describe to you how well this smells. Like it just smells so fruity and fun. And I'm using, only using one pump for the bottom of my arm. And I'm bringing it into my elbow. And then I just lightly go over my hand. So I know a lot of people have different ways to do this, but I find just because this is the medium shade, it doesn't look too harsh. I also try to avoid my armpits, elbows, knees, and hands until I'm almost done because they can actually turn out quite dark in comparison to the rest of you because they are very dry prone areas. So they can look kind of dirty if you put too much tan on those areas. I just want to show you guys that difference. You can kind of see it, but like already, like it's only been five minutes of the tan being on and it's already that different. Like, wow. it's amazing. I'm just gonna go and do the rest of my body, do my back, and then I will see you guys in a second. So I'm gonna try out the face drops. I haven't used these. This is a first time for me. I have this like little brush that I'm supposed to use with it, but I really don't know how to use this. So I'm just gonna go in and use my hands anyway. So I've got my favorite moisturizer here and I'm just going to put a nice dollop into my hands. And then it says to turn the bottle upside down and squeeze the button at the bottom to dispense two to three drops into the moisturizer. Put one, two, three. 
That is easy. It's also a really pretty pink color. I love that so much. I'm gonna apply evenly to face, neck, and collarbone area. So let's just let's just go for it. Ooh, it smells really good. It smells very fresh. Like I feel like I've just woken up. I mean, basically, I have just woken up. I don't know. It feels amazing. All right, we'll see how well that develops. <laughs> My tanning days my cleaning days so once I finished the tanning process I put on my kimono and I just kind of clean around the house although I don't do anything that involves water just because I don't want any water to splatter on my fresh new tan because once again that will make it go patchy we don't want it to go patchy the good thing about cocoa and Eve is it actually develops within two hours so you're ready to go within two hours I like to push it a little bit more so I don't wash my tan off until the four to six hour mark just because I like that more deeper glow and then once you wash it off it still develops after that for a few hours so after my morning or night shower I will moisturize with a gradual tanning moisturizer I find that that prolongs the life of my tan so now that I have told you guys my tanning routine I'm now going to be talking about the products themselves it is promoting streak free no bad smells and no stress which is tick 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 so it's got unique cellular shape formula infused with raw virgin coconuts botanicals and amino acids to hydrate and firm the skin which is amazing it's enriched with barley inspired ingredients and natural antioxidants including fig banana papaya and cocoa to improve the signs of aging I didn't even know that was involved within tanning. So it blurs pigmentation and perfects the skin, which it definitely has with me. I feel like I have two different skin tones going on sometimes. So my face is like super red undertoned and super bright. And I've got this yellow undertoned body. It's just like, what is that? It's got a tropical Balinese mango and guava scent. It's a lightweight and non-sticky formula. I think that's one of the main reasons why I've only started tanning at the age of 23 <laughs> because I just couldn't get past that gross disgusting like biscuity smell I mm -mm, I couldn't do it I lived with someone that would tan regularly when I went into the bathroom after them I would just be like no I mm -mm, I can't do it now it does have a green gray base for a natural looking golden glow with no orangey tones that was another reason why I didn't want to tan because I didn't want to end up looking like an orange this honestly just gives you like a really beautiful natural glow there's no orange the Where's the orange? I can't see it. So a couple of ingredients that Coco and Eve use in their foam is lotus extract, which is a strong antioxidant that fights stress in the skin and helps cellulite and all that kind of stuff. It has a natural 100% DHA, which basically means the instant pigmentation change in my skin color, which develops within two hours and can last up to two weeks if you look after your tan properly. We've got raw virgin coconuts to help hydrate and firm the skin, which is amazing. My skin being very dry prone is actually feeling very hydrated and smooth right now. Like my shoulders, for example, it's very prone to dryness because this is where the birds sit most of the time. So their nails dig into my skin and ruins it. Despite all the scratches, like it's smooth to run over. Then we've got mango, fig and cocoa, which is enriched with antioxidants and helps to improve the signs of aging, which is amazing. Did that just rhyme? I think that just rhymed a little bit. Maybe, I'm not sure. Now, the one thing that I love about Coco and Eve is the fact that they promote themselves to be free of a lot of toxins. So the Sunny Honey range is actually free of parabens, silicones, gluten-free. It's also animal cruelty-free. It's also vegan. So no animal products, no palm oil, which is freaking amazing. I feel like it's so rare to find products now that are palm oil free. And the fact that these guys are palm oil free is just makes my heart a little bit happy. They're also ethically sourced. So this packaging can be reused, it can be recycled. They also help in ways of using less plastic within their packaging. So for example, the packet that the mitt came in is actually biodegradable. It's also such a cute little bag. Like I am actually gonna keep the bag to put my mitt in so it doesn't like transfer any old tan onto my other 
stuff that's in my drawer so yeah they have a lot more about sustainability on their website as well if you are interested but i just thought that i would put that in there because i think it's so important so yeah those are a couple of things that i love about the coco and eve range obviously there's more information on their website that you should totally go and check out i will leave all the links in the description down below and obviously you can use my discount code seychelle for 10 percent off their website so if you want to go and treat yourself thank me later it's fine i feel like i've had a lot to learn in the small space of time that i have been 10 I feel like with Coco and Eve, it's just so simple. It's so easy. And I'm not just saying that, like I'm, I've used different kinds of tanning methods. I've used the tanning water. I've used your popular tanning foams that every single person seems to use, but I just don't love them. I feel like they're so heavy on my body or I somehow mess it up somehow and it turns patchy. There's been many times in my videos where I've been sorry for the tan guys. Don't look at it too hard. That's happened quite a few times actually. And I haven't had to say that line for a very long time because I have been using Cocoa and Eve. It's streak free. So even if you are a klutz, like myself, you can't stuff it up. Like it's almost near impossible. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for sticking around and hanging out with me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below so that you can let me know that you enjoy my content. Without further ado, I'm gonna love you and leave you guys. I'll see you in my next video next Sunday. So, ciao for now.